Hello guys and welcome back to Flat of Damage today. So today we're going to talk about something that I have to have an opinion on. So I love Borderlands so much as a video game and I get it. You know what? Yellow, Yellow Flash did say some. He was not a fan of Borderlands um, in general and I'm like, you know what? That's fair. I understand why. Um, Give me one second. I do have Dudley with me today. So give me one second though. I have to turn on a light. There we go. I apologize. I apologize, guys. This is a bad start. But, so, the biggest thing right now, if any of y'all don't understand, I have at least, oh, episode 25. So, I have at least 25 episodes of playing through Borderlands 3. I have a few for Borderlands 2. I have... I have 36 days of playing Borderlands 2. I have 20 something day. I think I have like 15, 20 something days in Borderlands 3. Didn't play the first one. I played Tiny Tinos. I like that one. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm putting all this preface out there so I can tell y'all one thing. I have an opinion on this and it is dog shit. I'm not trying to be mean to nobody out there who might like it, but. There are a lot of things here that just that just are not okay. So, for anyone who doesn't know, God forbid you don't know, Borderlands, based off the video games, is making a movie. The problem is the characters, the story, apparently from what other reviews I've heard about, people who have even watched it, apparently they think it's the comedy is there, but it's satire. It's kind of just a they really kind of just they ruined it almost a little bit and I'm trying to I don't know too much I'm just doing what I've heard from and it makes me mad you want to know why you could have done it right you could have I'm gonna preface this if you wanted to do this you might as well as you might as well have just done a adaptation of Borderlands 2 you should have and the biggest thing and the one thing I hate about this in general is that the biggest thing I hate is that Borderlands 2 had the best story if you understood the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2 but Borderlands 2 had the best story because Handsome Jack the main villain was phenomenal he was a bad he was an evil person so fighting him was great, but it was just such a good story of what happens. From my from my understanding of this, this is not even this is not even connected at all to anything really from the games. Apparently this is like its own little universe, which doesn't make sense because a lot of shit has to be connected in order for anything to work out. Some of the some of the big things, obviously, are the characters. I am sorry for anyone who doesn't know, Mad Moxie, Lilith, and Dr. Tannis are all sexy, and they're all like 20, I think, I think Lilith is like easily like 25 to 30, Dr. Tannis might be like 32, maybe, and then, um, Mad Moxie I think is the oldest one technically, because she, she's definitely the oldest, but she's at least right at 40. So when I look at this, and no offense, but when I see this, I'm like, so we just got all the oldest people on the planet. And I'm not trying to be mean, but a good, especially Mad Moxie, that, that one annoyed me. Um, I'm not going to pull it up right now, but I've seen the actor, the actor's 60. And I'm not trying to be mean here, but the whole point of Mad Moxie was literally to be a strumpet. If you do not know what a strumpet is, it is the old, old, old English version of saying a, a escort, a, a street, a worker of the night, a lady of the night who works on the corner. However, that is her whole personality, or that's her, her whole cliche of, that is what she does. She has, her, her boobs are out everywhere, barely doing anything. She's thin, petite, whatever. That's kind of her whole shtick. Dr. Tan is, is crazy literally in the video games 
every other thing she says is something that you're like, I don't know if you should be able to do that. And she's like, oh, we're going to do it. And just crazy scientific. That's what she is. Roland is supposed to be a big macho man that is black. But the whole thing about that is that he's not funny. He was the stoic. Well, yeah. You don't really get to see Roland too much. I didn't play the first one, so I don't know the start of it. But I do know Roland was just the leader. He was the leader, but he wasn't goofy. He was like, yo, let's get this done. Like, we gotta do this, this, and this. He was the planner. Lilith becomes the leader afterwards when Roland passes away. Spoiler, by the way, Roland dies in the universe. So Roland here, technically... See, I'm trying to remember... Lilith always had the siren powers. Roland became leader. Psycho. Psy oh, by the way, another thing in the trailer, when you realize... Okay, so one, the other big aspect for anyone who here who doesn't know, Psycho is, un, un, is intangible with words. You have no idea what he says, because half the crap he says makes no sense. Like, I'm the conductor of the meat train. While he's, you know, beheading a, another psycho. Like, it just makes no... Or Kree, it doesn't make sense. You have no idea what he says. Or, like, half the words shouldn't go together. He makes a lot of noises. So if he ever says a sentence that is even semi-conducive of a thought, yeah, it's it's already out the window. Like, he, he said something in the trailer. Like, ooh, yes, I agree. It's like, nope, wrong, sorry. He would have never said that. And it... I get it, I am critiquing this to a fine point, but it's because each character had their thing. Tiny Tina is supposed to be... That is... Krieg and Tiny Tina are the closest to actually being accurate of their character, of what they should be. Tiny Tina is... All of them are halfway insane, except for Lilith and Roland. Those are like the most common, like the most normal. Dr. Tannis, Krieg, and Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina is supposed to have traumatic events being a child. She's supposed... She, a, uh, by the way, spoilers, so skip the video if you don't want to listen to this. Krieg is apparently Tiny Tina's father. That is a theory. It is a theory because something happens. Krieg is from a experiment from from handsome jack and when he and somehow i can't remember what happens if she was born in the experiment like in a prison beside the cells of the experiment or something like that i don't know i can't remember exactly it's more of a it's like an echo device kind of thing that you have to listen to so it's a lot it's a lot of like snippets but he's an experiment that's what he is he's an experiment she i think is apparently the daughter like the secret child it is it that's a far more that's more conspiracy theory theorizing right now but she is insane she is insane she is crazy but she's also the best demolitionist in like half the pandor pandorian planet or pandora's planet lilith is a siren she is the only one right now that's being shown to exist Sirens are, you know, just magical halfway to gods. We have a thunderstorm outside. But the thing is, Tiny Tina is completely explosive. Like, it, her every problem she saw, she throws a grenade at it and just goes, whoop, fine, figure it out. And just, mm. now, the biggest thing. See, there's a lot of things here that in the trailer, and I, I'm not going to show the trailer because of copyright, whatever. But in the trailer, it showed Atlas, one of the big gun manufacturing corporations. Atlas, Jacobs, Vladoff, Malawan, um, Kov is not a manufacturer. They just made that for three. Doll. We never see Doll. We never officially see... No, nope, yes, we do. Yes, we do. We see in the pre-sequel, technically. Mm, I hate that. We do fight Doll um, soldiers. Shit, I hate that. I forget about that. We don't we don't fight official doll corporation. We fight people who used to work at doll. But the thing is, Jacobs, Vladoff, Malawan, Atlas, Hyperion, Handsome Jack's um um Empire of Weaponry, 
Um. Damn, am I missing any? No. Then there's the special alien weapons. Regardless, so they do find one of the corporations, one of the guys there, the guy who has like the big gun that shoots down. He's an Atlas guy. Problem. Atlas does not become a problem. He's either Atlas or Malawan. He's one of the two. They kind of... Mm. The problem there is they don't necessarily meet up, technically, uh, for a long time. Regardless. There is one problem, though. There's a major problem from the trailer. It shows Tiny Tina here being the one saying, I'm the only one who can open the vault. That's not true. Lilith is the only one who can open a vault, or a siren. Actually, I take that back. Techni technically speaking, anyone can open the vault as long as you have Iridium. You have a siren who, who can control Iridium, a special material that exists on the planet. Or you have the key, you power it up with Iridium, or some sort of device that helps send out Iridium, whatever. And power it up. Tannis was able to do it. Handsome Jack was able to do it. But the thing is, a lot of points are just being... And I get it. Yeah, you don't have to listen. I get it. You don't have to like this. You might not. You might be like, whoop, it's over my head. I get it. I fully understand. But for all of us who love Borderlands, we're looking at this going, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is not how you do it. Biggest, biggest problem. Well, not the biggest. The thing is, we... The one thing I want to see is I want to see guns that actually that have the legendary names and references from the video games. One of the one one of the ones I thought that was easy. Everyone should know about it if you're a big Borderlands fan like me. The conference call. It is a black and red um, Hyperion shotgun. The special the special ability of it is when it shoots. It then, the conference call specifically, when it shoots for, out as a burst, it magically somehow also shoots out a bunch of shotgun shells magically from thin air all around the target. Now I get it. They probably can't do that in this universe. But then I'm going to say then you're not Borderlands. Bug off. I get it. I'm just nitpicking right now. But I can. I have played the game a lot. I have put... I think I did the math. 32 days or 36 days. It's over 600 hours. Bug off. Do it right if you're going to do it. Because now you're just shitting on my favorite game. Or one of my favorite games. And it's annoying because you have a good game. If you ha The biggest problem is you could have had someone who played it. Someone who did play the second game. And been like, let's just adapt, let's just adapt this. You already have... The um cell shade or the um yeah cell shaded um graphics you could have just been like oh okay here you go we're gonna um we just live action well um, see the problem is if you want to live action it you you, you kind of mess it up but it is what it is regardless um there's not much else I can talk about because I'm not gonna see it I'm not gonna see it I'm already offended by it just because. They ruined the actors. They 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 did not choose the right actors. Like that's it just no, I'm sorry. I just don't see it. I, I get I get why they did it, but I'm like, I'm sorry, but Lilith is a sexy twenty year old. I'm sorry. That that ain't it. What was it? Green Blitz. Tina and the film does nothing to jump. Wait, wait. But Lilith and Roland, man, what, what were they thinking? Roland is... Ca yeah, see, that's the biggest promise. Like, that's the... No. Who's, of course, not the stoic... Bro yeah, stoic brilliant. Really, yeah. He is Kevin Hart, perhaps. Acting 20% less Kevin Hart-ish than usual, but only that. Kate Blanchett is absolutely the most baffling casting here as well. I have no idea how they got the two-time Oscar winner, other than perhaps boredom on her part and the inexplicable effort. <laughs> Recreate her character's trajectory to Tar. Damn. But as a game player, the age gap from her to OG Lilith is distracting. Yes. I don't think y'all understand how big of a thing is 
when it comes to the video game look of someone, especially their age, being that, no offense, half of them are sexy 20 and 30-year-olds, and then you see a 60-year-old, and you're like, ugh, no, no, just no. And I'm not trying, yeah, see, what was it? And not just as a cousin, but from a story, yeah, because remember, Lilith is easily, like, 25, but she also becomes a leader at this point, and this is also where she's supposed to learn to be a leader. The, she looks like she's been through hell and back. She's already been through the story. The movie has Tans and Moxie telling her about their time with her mother, remembering her as an eight-year-old. Jamie Lee Curtis is 65, 10 years older than Blanche. It's 55. Gina Gershon is 68. Yeah, see, it's just... Geriatrics. The script does not resemble any Borderlands game at all, other than it's vaguely, vaguely about finding Pandora's Vault. See, that's another issue. Pan, Pandora's Vault. They apparently, I can't remember. I don't remember the first game, but apparently they look for Pandora's Vault in the first one, and in the third one, the first one, they find a magic vault. They find the Destroyer. They kill it. Third game, they re-find a new secret vault. The ultimate vault. That is actually the planet. The whole entire planet. The, it, it does open up to the, the destroyer again, apparently, somehow. Even though it's supposed to be dead. And apparently it's one of the, it's the greatest defender of all ancient technology, whatever, from the vaults. From the, um, god, from the Iridium Guardians era, whatever. Shit like that. What was it? The script is not... Yeah. They make the thrust of the story uh, an off can Yes. Of running up to Tina doing some... Oh, hell nah. They make the thrust of the story an off-canon rewriting of Tina into being some Atlas-made clone using Iridian DNA to open the vault as a chosen one. No, that's just not... No, 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 no. You can't do that. Because everyone dies whoever uses Iridium. The only people to have ever existed experimentation. And not and I don't even think it was with Iridium was was um, Krieg. And he's halfway to dead and insane. Like, all he does is kill. That's all he does. But he's really good at it, though. He also gets with um, Maya, but she doesn't exist, I think. Oh, I hate that. Her only connection to her original character being her bunny ears and saying things like, no, no. See that? I hate all this now. I hate it all. Because all of you fans are going to hate it too, and I, I hope you agree. Eh, I don't hope, but just, you know, we all have our opinions. Tina is supposed to be the prophecy's daughter of the... No, 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 no. This begins the move without... Lilith begins the move without siren powers. So, that doesn't... See, the timeline is wrong. It's wrong. And I get it. You can say I'm nitpicky. I am. Fuck off. I am. And no offense. It's just... I can. I Because the games already have a timeline. And that's the only reference we have to it. The games and probably some... Probably like a few comic books, maybe. Or the um Telltale games, too. Lilith begins the move. You you will know from about twenty minutes in that she, not Tina, is the chosen one in question and gets those siren powers at the very end. Flame on. The vault opening ends up being nothing but floaty cubes and tentacles. A hint of a boss fight from the games, with no corresponding. F Ugh! I really hope that is not true because if that's true, that's gonna be bad. That's bad because if you don't actually see the fight of the vault, then it's pointless. Then you've defeated the whole point of Borderlands. Like, seriously. This is what I'll... This is what I'll now be calling Rebel Moon Syndrome, where if EG-13 cut, neuters the action of something that clearly should be R-rated. Ooh, yeah, because for anyone who doesn't know, half of the things you do in Borderlands is make people explode and you see their... And, they, and you see their giblets go everywhere. Like, yeah. So... The gore-soaked, mature-rated games give way to bullets pinging off armor and people fall. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, no. Again, I think they were going for box office boosting here with the lower age rating, but it hurts the... Yeah. 
Not that Goya action would have saved it, but it would have been better than what... Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at these huge stars. We got to play these characters. Even if they make no sense, Borderlands fans will show up no matter... No. Okay, so... I do agree, and I do think this is a true part of what is going on. They are trying to make a cinematic universe that says, fuck you, games... In all your stories, we're gonna make our own story and screw the gamers, but we're all over here like, nah, that ain't that ain't it, bro. You ain't doing that. I, I this is not canon to me. I don't care what you say. This is not canon. This is a try hard of pretend, essentially. Borderlands fans will show up no matter what, even if the story and characters are waiting. This will die here alone. No more movies. Nothing like this should be a. T yeah, no. Well. No, no, no. All they have to do is adapt Borderlands 2. That is it. Literally. Not even that. They could adapt the Telltale games. Literally. and Because those are some of the best games. Now, I do think in general, Borderlands 2 is the best. Now, personally, I think Borderlands 2 story-wise is the best. I think community-wise is the best as well. With a very close one being the better, with one being the better stories and a three we don't even acknowledge. But they see he they also agree that Paul Tassi oh Paul Tassi nice in some other world I can see a cool anime yeah no if it was animated and cel shaded kind of like similar but whatever. A, See, that's the thing. See, that's the big thing, because now, if Take-Two is over this, they are also the ones, and Gearbox, are over the fourth game coming out. And it's in it's in um, development right now. And I'm not going to lie, I'm, I am a fan. I will, but I am also scared now, that because I'm not going to pre-order. I have to see reviews now, because there's now a possibility... The um, Borderlands 4 game is now just a feminazi dream, or wet dream, essentially, because it's just, um, wait, what? Did you think casting was going to be a problem? Casting is a problem. In some instances, actually, okay, I think the single best cast character is Marcus. <gasps> what? Marcus only has 90 seconds? That's pitiful. Marcus is beautiful. Well, he's wonderful in some ways. Oh, is it actually run by Gearbox? Because if so, I'm going to be sad. Yeah, he makes a good point. So, he says that in the movie, Krieg is essentially Krieg. He looks like him and he talks like him, more or less. Like I'm gonna lick your spine. Like yeah, that's what he would. That's what he would say, and he does that. I do think young Gamora, young Ahsoka, Ariana Greenbelt's promising career will survive this. And yeah, see that is the problem. It is the script. I think right now that's the biggest problem. No, 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 see, a lot of people don't like Jack Black as Claptrap. I do think that is a good position, because Claptrap is supposed to be funny, as well as, don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand this, but hear me out. For some reason, Claptrap is supposed to be the one thing in the game you're supposed to just hate. You're supposed to. Everyone in everyone in the game itself also hates Claptrap. Beca oh, because he's annoying. But he's also funny as hell, and I love him. He has a be he has beautiful sense of sarcasm. But I do think Black uh, Jack Black being Claptrap is a good pick. That is one of the only picks I think would be good. Only because it works. Like, their personalities work really well together. Yeah, no, it's just... Mm. Yeah, one of the worst video game adaptations ever in the Sea of Beth. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, man, it's just mm, it. They they rolled this one to hell, man. They rolled it to hell. I hope y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all in the later. I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, peace. Hello guys, I just want to let you know, please, um, if you want to support me, please go to um, BitChute and what was it called? PayChute? Um, I am not a big fan of promoting myself or trying to send people other places, but if you know anything about YouTube, YouTube is not that good. Also, I am trying to expand. If I am able to do things on BitChute, I can say more, hmm, how shall we say, I can not have to edit as much with my words and be a lot meaner about things. But no, if y'all want to support me, if you feel like, hey, I just like this guy, I want to support him, you can go to BitChute, PayShoot, whatever. It's up to you. I'm, I don't really push it. It's more of a, it's up to you. I know some people want to. Otherwise, I do hope y'all have fun. I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.